Rolex is synonymous with grandeur and holds a special place in the world of high-end timepieces. For many, a Rolex watch is a symbol of achievement and success. Here are 10 intriguing facts about this iconic luxury brand. Fact number one, standard stainless steel is not good enough for Rolex. Most watchmakers favor the industry standard stainless steel known as 316L, but not the development team at Rolex. Instead, they use a higher quality of stainless steel called 904 as it has a higher level of nickel, making it more corrosion resistant. It also retains a high polish, even under harsh conditions from everyday wear. 904L stainless steel is just one more example of Rolex's quality. Number two, Rolex is the single largest luxury watch company. One out of every four Swiss watches sold is a Rolex. In 2020, Rolex reported revenue of approximately 8.5 billion. In fact, the iconic Geneva maker accounted for one quarter of the industry's total turnover in 2020. Not even a pandemic could take down the demand for Rolex watches, with 810,000 timepieces sold last year. Number three, Rolex did not originate from Switzerland. Today, Rolex is undeniably recognized as one of the great Swiss watchmakers and brands. However, it's a little known fact that Rolex has its origins in a different European country, the United Kingdom. In 1905, German-born Hans Wilsdorf and his brother-in-law Alfred Davis set up a watch company, Wilsdorf and Davis, in London. Check out our post to learn how the company came from a small pocket watchmaking shop to a global conglomerate. Number four, Rolex makes the parts for its watches. In Rolex's relentless pursuit of producing everything in-house, it has bought out numerous companies that were previously its suppliers of watch parts. For example, in 2004, they acquired the company that had been making their movements for an estimated $1.2 billion USD. This has allowed them to have complete control over the production chain. It should come as no surprise that the company also has several internal R&D departments, with each focusing on a different perspective of the watchmaking process. Here's number five, the Clockmakers 4. Rolex uses a unique version of the Roman numeral 4 on its Roman numeral dials. This is not limited to Rolex, but other watch brands as well that use Roman numerals. The use of this is known as the Clockmakers 4, and to date, no single definitive reason for its use can be found. But a common theory is that it gives the dial better symmetry with IIII as opposed to IV. Number 6. Rolex dive watches are individually tested in pressurized water tanks. While Rolex is meticulous in its process of ensuring quality standards, dive watches receive a different treatment altogether. Rolex proceeds to test the water resistance of their diver watch models such as Rolex Submariner and Deep Sea Watch in actual water. After being immersed to up to depths of 300 meters, each watch then undergoes a series of complex tests to check if any water has leaked into the watch. This is on top of having first met all the other divers watch international standards. Number seven, how to gain or lose a few seconds. According to Rolex, you can make your watch run a few seconds fast or slow without touching the crown. All you have to do is leave the watch's dial face up at night, which can cause the watch to gain up to a few seconds per day. On the other hand, if you were to leave the watch face down, it could cause the watch to lose a few seconds a day. Here's fact number eight. Their watch movements are all hand assembled and tested. Rolex produces thousands of watches every year, but surprisingly, no shortcuts are taken in the manufacturing process. All watches get the bespoke attention you would expect for a fine Swiss made timepiece and are hand assembled and tested by an actual technician. However, all the mundane tasks such as cataloging parts are done by machine. In fact, at Rolex factories, robotic inventory machines store and retrieve trays with parts of complete watches and deliver them on demand via a series of conveyor belts. If an engineer needs a watch part, all they have to do is make an order on the online system 
and less than 10 minutes later, they have it. Here's number 9, the most expensive Rolex ever sold. In 2017, the Paul Newman Daytona Rolex exchanged hands for $17.8 million at a private auction. This also set the record for the most expensive watch ever sold, pricing out several elite sports cars and even a Malibu penthouse suite. The story goes that the opening bid for Paul Newman's Daytona started at $1 million, but was immediately raised to $10 million by the first bidder. This was definitely unexpected even for such a high-end auction and stunned the attendees, with only two bidders engaged in counteroffers for one to emerge victorious by parting away with a cool $18 million. Finally, here's fact number 10. Rolex has an in-house foundry. Rolex's iconic gold foundry is located at its largest facility in Plan Les Oats, Geneva. Here they make their proprietary gold alloy termed Everose. This was an invention birthed by the necessity to overcome the tendency of rose gold to fade with time, especially when exposed to chlorinated or salt water. We hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to like and subscribe to see more content, as well as visiting us on compasslongview.com. I'm Rob with Compass Longview. Thanks for watching.